Hello and welcome Virgo to your October 2023 horoscope. My name is Jeff Smith. I'm your professional astrologer here for you at Raise Your Vibration TV, bringing you the cosmic weather for this October. Welcome, welcome. If you're new to the channel, welcome. I hope this becomes a normal thing for you Virgos out there. It gives you a clear insight on what's going on and what could and how you can flow with the energy and what you know what's coming up and we've got quite a few things coming up for this October. We're back in the eclipse season. So we're going to talk about that extensively. We're going to talk about the path of the sun and how it's traveling through any of your houses that affect any areas of your life. We're going to make sense out of all this astrology. You know what I mean because astrology is a fascinating subject to me and I hope it is for you too. And uh, please watch your tarot reading that also goes with this. Your horoscope will be out first, and then your tarot readings will be out afterwards. So hit the bell notification so you're notified of that. So welcome, Virgo. So without further ado, let's go ahead and take a look at your solar chart for October. There it is. So I'm going to kind of walk you through this because you're like, what the hell am I looking at? So just follow the bouncing cursor. We've got a lot of focus going on for October in your second house and later on in the month, it'll start to be in your third house. So when we activate two and three, the houses here, these are zones of experience and I automatically go across. So if there's going to be anything going on in the second house, it's also going to be having an influence with the eighth also. Same thing when we start moving, the sun starts moving into Scorpio at the end of the month here. You're going to have a focus on communication. All right. So right now it's all about finances, self-worth, get dialing down debt. It's trying to find a balance with the finances here. And I also see a lot of relationship things going on for Virgos. And, you know, I think this month you're going to really have to work on your beliefs and, and are you being too rigid? There's a lot of healing taking place, but I don't want you to fast track it. Let healing just happen. Okay. Let healing just evolve. You need this time in order to heal. There's no rush. All right. That's one of the big things for you this month, Virgo. So, Let's talk about there's going to be a lot of a lot of planets shifting signs. Um, Pluto's going to be coming out of retrograde. When we get to the calendar view, we'll talk more about that. But what I want to get down to right now is these eclipses that are going to be happening. Okay, so on the 14th, there's going to be a new moon solar eclipse happening in Libra. So this is happening at 21 degrees. It's going to be conjunct Mars in your second house. So again, this is a new opportunity for you to either make some more money, widen your audience. It's about really putting your putting your words, you know, how can I say it? Oh, I forgot the I forgot the 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 uh little thing that went with that. Um basically what you're doing is you're doubling down on your beliefs. And you're going, you're really taking a look at that and going, should I, does this work for me still in this reality? Have I grown out of this belief? You're going to be doing a lot of that. It wouldn't be a time to double down on a belief that does not work for you. You know, this is the time where you kind of open your eyes and go, all right, I need to change here. But there's definitely going to be second house issues. All right. And when I say issues with a new moon, it's a new time to start something. You're just getting extra, an extra boost to do it. So this could be a time where the healing really starts to take effect and you start to feel better about yourself. This is all about internally, how do I, what are my values here? You know, so that's going to be happening on the 14th. I would look at eclipses as just super new moons, super full moons. They bring a lot of drama. They bring a lot of sudden changes in energy. And these last, usually for now, they're going to last all the way up to the new year and, and possibly beyond. But it's usually a three-month window. Usually with a new moon or a full moon, it's it's one you know one lunar cycle. Not with eclipses. They're long-lasting, three, six months to a year but you definitely see the buildup in three months. There's no doubt about that. So that's going to be taking place in your second house of finances. 
how I value myself, how you value relationships. That's another thing. Is this relationship that I'm in, does it have the value that I seek? You know, you're going to be asking a lot of questions and you're going to be trying to strike a balance in all of this, Virgo. All right. So then we have the full moon lunar eclipse happening on the 28th of October. And that's going to be taking place in your ninth house. And that, again, has to do with travel, long distance travel for some of you Virgos, planning a trip, but it's also changing your values. Again, that's going to be bringing things to light. I can't think of this way anymore. It doesn't work for me. So I've got to finally move forward and allow myself to find a different belief system. You know, it could be you doubling down on your faith also, you know. So, and and like I said, the full moon brings a lot of action, a lot of drama, a lot of energy. So as long as you keep your feet on the ground, you'll be fine. This lunar eclipse is going to be happening in Taurus. So it's a fellow earth sign. So that's a good thing. However, it packs a punch. And you've been asked to kind of find the opportunities, make the opportunities happen. And you've been slow to the draw on that. And you have to, you have to basically believe that you are going to receive what you desire. And that's going to be tested for you this month, Virgo. Okay? So without further ado, let's get to the calendar view. All right? So I write this out every month. As you can see, the moon moves through the signs very fast. So it, again, affects your mood. But I've also made notes on the days that are important. And usually the days that are important, it's always going to be a new and a full moon. Always. These are most important because they're eclipses. But also what I highlight is planets ingressing or moving into a new sign. And of course, anything when they go retrograde or anything like that. So those are important times because that's when you feel the energy shift. Certain needs of these planets move into different different signs, which give you a different element, a different feel. So we'll go over that as we go through each week. All right, so let's hit it. Mercury is going to be doing a lot this month, and that's your ruler. So we're going to start off the month with, I don't know. See, this is when we're trying to communicate here. Am I create? Am I? Am I, am I speaking my dreams clearly or am I, is there an illusion here that I need to get over? You'll feel a hell of a lot better on the third. The moon moves into Gemini and Mercury makes a trine to Pluto. So you're definitely finding some perspective here. And then your ruler moves into Libra on the fourth. So this is moving into an air sign. So we're moving out of you know what I'm saying? We're, we're we're moving out of this stubbornness and now moving into this balanced energy. Again, we're starting to see and speak, I need balance in my life. That's the day to do it. Wednesday the 4th. And you can see the moon moves swiftly into Cancer and then right into Leo. That's a good weekend. Especially for you because on the 8th, Venus, the planet of love, is going to be moving into your sign that is a definite improvement in your relationships. And a definite, a definite improvement, I think, for Virgos, it's going to wake up on the, you know, the eighth is, okay, I gotta, I'm going to put some love into myself. You know what I mean? Um, it just may be slow to the draw. That may be a plan that you can put together because Mars, the planet of action, is square Pluto here. And Pluto is getting ready to move direct a couple days later. Um, definitely, I would say Mondays are definitely all going to feel like Mondays. OK, that's one prediction I can do. Every Monday is going to be like some new thing coming up. The moon makes a square to Uranus, so you may be a little agitated and you're kind of feeling that Pluto starting to move forward on the 10th. The moon moves into your sign, Virgo. So at least you got that. At least your moods will move from one extreme to the other, you know, like they don't already. But Venus is going to be making an opposition to Saturn on the 10th also. So that's going to be, pay attention to the news on the 8th and the 10th. World news coming out. Then on the 12th, we got Mars, the planet of action, moving into Scorpio. Now, Mars is a little bit more at home in Scorpio. It used to rule Scorpio before Pluto came along. So now we've got Pluto. It's Scorpio's ruler moving. Now we're starting to move into Scorpio season. 
Um, Mars makes a trine to Saturn on Friday, on Friday, so maybe we can start actually putting our plans into action. And then it gears right up to the solar eclipse, new moon. That's happening on the 14th. That's happening in 21 degrees Libra. Conjunct Mars. Big action, big plans to find balance. Also look in the news. The news is going to be hot this month, just so you know. All right, we got the moon moving into Scorpio. We're getting that more October feel, you know what I mean? Uh, the 20th for you, the sun makes a conjunct to your ruler, Mercury, and it's also square Pluto, but it's also moving direct. This is when you finally, I think communication bar barriers need to come down. The sun makes a square to Pluto on the 21st, and then your sign, your ruler, moves into Scorpio on the 22nd. So now your ruler is moving into a water sign. So now we're expressing our emotions. We're not being so cold about it because when we're in an air sign, we can be kind of frigid, you know, kind of, oh, I'm just not going to say anything. Well, now you're going to. It's also making, Mercury is also making a trine to Saturn on the 22nd. Big day on the 22nd. It could be a little hairy for some, but everyone will definitely get through it. Pluto is also trying Jupiter, so it's a good time to just go out. Maybe this is a good time to, you know, do October things, you know, maybe a Halloween party or something like that. 23rd, the sun now moves into Scorpio. Now we're moving into Scorpio season. The sun also makes a trine to Saturn on the next day, and this is a good day for daydreaming, possibly connecting with loved ones beyond the veil is thin, you know, and then boom, now it starts to gain momentum here. The moon moves into swift Aries, and then we have the full moon lunar eclipse on the 28th. That is heavy energy, and it's going to be happening in your ninth house. So again, this is going to be testing your beliefs. It's just not a time for action. It's a time to sort these out so you can get ready to move forward with these. Mars is making an opposition of uh, Jupiter as well as your ruler Mercury. Like I said, doesn't mean take action. This is a this actually for some signs would be a great time to go to a Halloween party on the 28th. But then um, on the 29th, Mercury moves uh, makes a conjunct to Mars. So again, that's when you can go ahead and express yourself. You may be a little tongue-tied on the 29th, on the 28th. On the 29th, you won't be. And then we finish out on the 31st, Halloween, in the States here. It, uh, Venus is going to be trying Uranus. So if you get invited out to a Halloween party, make up a costume and go have fun. That's what you need to do because it's going to be pretty intense for you. And as long as you... Pull these old beliefs and all these old ways of thinking out of your wheelhouse and start adapting new beliefs that are more in line with your reality. You're going to do great, Virgo. But it's all about faith. It's all about turning to that higher power. It's also getting yourself out there, too. So if you own a business, it's a good time to get more customers and get out there and really make things happen for you. All right, Virgo, that's going to be it for October. It's going to be a doozy. But you've got this practical approach. Make lists. You know, do your thing. But make sure you stick to them. And pay attention to what's being said and felt in your relationships. And work on those. All right? Make sure you like, share, comment, and subscribe. And thank you so much for being here, Virgo. Have a great month, and I will see you in November.